Hey there folks, this is Jordan coming at you from followjordan.com and right now I'm actually in Valladolid, Mexico and I was back at the hostel working and I'm hungry. I got the, st the stomach is ground a little bit. I don't want to eat a ton of food, I just want to uh, I just want to have a snack. And so what I've decided to do is come out to the streets here and I'm going to get a torta. A torta is a sandwich here in Mexico and what they put in, this is very common, this is a very common thing. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. A lot of people I talk to, a lot of travelers I talk to, they're kind of scared of these situations. They're kind of scared to go get some food on the streets. The food is dirty, it's kind of intimidating. They usually don't speak any English here on the, at these stands. And so uh, a lot of them don't eat at these places and they kind of like look at me like I'm crazy when I do. But I love this stuff. And so I'm going to show you exactly how you can order a torta. I think this stuff is called like cochinera or cochinita or something like that. I'll find out in a second. We're going to go order. But bottom line is it's a, it's like a, a pork thing. that They have a big bunch of pork there. They're pulling it apart, making it so it's like pulled pork. And then they put it on a really good roll and they call it a torta. We're going to go right now and order up a torta. Hola. ¿Cuánto vale una torta? Doce. 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 Y es cerdo, ¿no? Cerdo. Ok. Vale, una torta, por favor. Buena torta aquí. Buena torta. Ah, sí. Viene aquí a, siempre. Siempre. Sí. sí. Muy bien. ¿Y qué es eso que uh, has ponido en a, a sobre? ¿Es salsa o algo? Salsa, salsa picante, cebolla. Muy bien. Gracias. So this is a very typical Mexican sandwich. They call it a torta. And I think I read somewhere that their bread is like heavily influenced by France, like when the French was here or some, some crap like that. But bottom line is it's good bread. And that is not just uh, saying nothing. Because in a lot of countries the bread sucks, but here it's pretty good. So we're gonna open up here. We see shredded pork with some salsa on there. Mm -mm -mm, looking good. And then that was given next to me. That's a picante sauce. And I'm not sure whether I should try it or not. This guy, dice que sí, bueno, no? No voy a hacerme daño? No? Definitivamente no? Okay, voy a probarlo. So there you go, folks. That's exactly how you order a torta cochinata or whatever it's called here in Valladolid. And as I go throughout Mexico, I think I'm going to discover that that's how you do it throughout Mexico as well. It's a real cheap snack that was about a dollar, and now I'm full and I'm content for at least a few hours. I'm going to go back to the hostel and work. I still have some energy. I love torches here. So don't be scared when you see a, a shack like that on the street. I don't get sick. I eat at them all the time. And to be honest, they're cheaper, and a lot of times they actually taste better than the stuff you get in the restaurant. From Valladolid, I'll see you around. Buen viaje. Okay, I'm back here at the hostel in Valladolid now, and I just put together the video, and I decided to make a little supplementary part here because I, I left out the review of the sandwich and of the salsa that was next to it. And so bottom line is, is I've had better. I mean, it was a little, the cochinita, the pork meat, was a little bit dry on that sandwich. Now, in my experience, not only does it depend on like what actual stand or place you go to, but it also depends on what part of the of the meat you get. You know, in the corner, it might be drier or more moist. And in this case, it was a little bit dry. Uh, dry. Now, they did put the salsa that you saw on there, it wasn't a hot salsa. It had a little, little bit of a spiciness to it, but almost none. It was mainly just for a little bit of moisture and the taste of the peppers and onions or whatever it was, tomatoes or whatever it was. So that was really good. Then I did try some of the green salsa that was next to the sandwich, which I was a little bit scared was going to hurt me, uh, but it didn't hurt me. It was, it was definitely spicy, not out of this world spicy, but I actually just didn't like the taste of it. So I ate the entire sandwich without that. Um, in an ideal world, I would have had a little bit of salt or a little bit of some sauce that made it a little bit moister, but it was still really good. And for about a dollar, it was 12 pesos, which right now is about a dollar exactly. For about a dollar, it was a really good snack, uh, and it hit the spot exactly. So uh, once again, depends on the shack. It depends on where in the, the pit of meat your actual sandwich came from. Um, but in the end, this was just an average sandwich, but it definitely filled me up for the day. If you like this video and you want to see more, just go to followjordan.com and check me out.